Hey, what is going on, guys? This is David Boom Beach. Uh, this is going to be my, uh, I think this is going to be my fourth video. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm kind of editing uh, the videos in a random order. So, as you can see, for today, we have a tanks maxed out tanks and uh some scorchers they're also maxed out if you want to check out the stats on those uh max level t a max level of scorchers th those are the stats you have uh that kind of damage there and uh with the uh 40, health just to start out with and then you have the uh, maxed out tanks and uh, so this is definitely going to be helping us just cruise along through these bases uh just cruise along and uh, yeah, let's check out let's check out uh, Quebec's base. So we're checking out Quebec's base right now, and of course he's online, so we can't be attacking him. Uh, let's check out uh, Gone. I think that's Gone. Gone. Whatever it is, he has a Doom Cannon. So we're gonna be. Uh, we're actually. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna use any gunboat energy, only to deploy. That's that's gonna be that's gonna be uh, today's challenge. So I'm not gonna be using any gunboat energy, only to deploy my troops, guys. So that's gonna be that's gonna be the rule for this episode. But at the very end, I am gonna be doing just an intense uh, hyper barrage. As you can see, my scorcher is going down. Uh, this scorcher is going down. Yeah, there it goes. Uh, but I'm just gonna be like cruising along through this base. But because this guy does have a doom cannon, so I think I think I'm just gonna be like hyper barraging his doom cannon. Honestly, I know I said I wouldn't be using gunboat energy, but let's just try that out. Let's try that out on a uh, on a base that does not have uh, does not have any uh, doom cannons, because those are super deadly to tanks and scorchers. Uh, they will just totally destroy them because it's like seven thousand five hundred damage per shot so uh yeah that's that's definitely going to be the end of our um of our scorches and our tanks if the guy has a doom cannon so we don't want any doom cannons and down goes our last scorcher but this is going to be an easy win uh you know I don't, I don't really want to wait for these tanks to like uh to do it so i'm just going to hyper barrage this hq and uh down is going to go gone or gahanan or whatever you want to do uh a couple more artillery maybe uh, yeah, down goes Gahan. And, uh, next, we're going to be taking down another uh, real player base. This guy did have some ice statues. Um, yeah, we lost only four Scorchers there. Uh, that's like that's like half our boats, but whatever. Uh, we're just going to be quickly instant finishing them there. Uh, there we go, 88 damage. Uh, so let's go ahead and move on. Is this guy still online? Of course you are. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to... Uh, uh, this is uh, this is Dave. This is gonna be Dave's base. Uh, let's just go ahead and uh, oh, we see that it has a doom cannon. Yeah, let's not attack with the doom cannons because I I want to try a base where I do not have any uh, I don't I, I don't use any uh, gunboat energy except to deploy my troops. So uh, let's uh, let's check out this guy. I remember this guy from past. Um, from past video, I was gonna attack him, but he looks too easy. And he does have a, uh, he does. I think that looks that's a laser beam too. So this is actually gonna be a pretty good example. So let's just go ahead and deploy all of our troops here, and uh, now let's just sit back and uh, watch them just totally cruise through this base, guys. The troops are just cruising through this base right now, and that uh, that laser beam is not doing that much damage. Uh, the laser beam is not, uh, it doesn't have a very high uh, damage count. And as you can see, the laser beam already goes down. Uh, we're not even close to losing a single troop yet. And uh, we're just building up gunboat energy like crazy. So I'm just going to go ahead and barrage these buildings in the back just for fun. Just to uh, really mess with this guy. He's going to be like, what were you doing in this replay? And this is Shket. Shket goes down. And uh, he's obviously got some boosted up statues, maybe for Gearheart. I don't know. So uh, yeah, let's let's check out um, let's check out another base. We didn't lose any troops there. Let's collect some free diamonds. Ooh, ten diamonds, very cool. Um, let's go ahead and get. Let's go ahead and attack another person's base. Uh, it looks like this is the last NPC player. I mean, uh, the last player base on my map. So let's actually uh, let's actually just go for it, and I will be um, I'll just be shocking that Doom Cannon to be honest, because uh, there's I, I really I really don't want to lose any of my Scorchers. Shock. Okay, there we go. 
So uh, as you can see, this guy is constructing a, uh, I think he's moving on to a weapons lab five. And um, that's going to be super good for uh, placing more um, placing more prototype uh, defenses. Uh, like currently, I have a laser beam two and a shock blaster two, and I can already create uh, some more some more uh, prototype defenses. Even though I just placed those because I wanted to, um, I placed them like right after mine ran out, like right after Hammerman strikes back, and. Uh, yeah, definitely stay tuned for that video because I definitely will be posting uh, some Harriman Strikes Back videos. Uh, as you can see, we're just totally cruising through this base right now. I'm not using uh, gunboat energy. I only use gunboat energy to shock that, um, that uh, what's it called, that uh, Doom Cannon. But let's just go ahead and hyper barrage this HQ right now. And wow, that, that looks absolutely incredible right now. That looks incredible, guys. And as you can see, we're, some tanks are just going to be finishing it off. And uh, down goes, uh, let's see, what's another generic American name? Down goes Kelly. Kelly goes down in this one. Uh, and we got a pretty good resource reward. That was like half a mil in, uh, in gold. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's check out, maybe let's check out a couple uh, NPC bases. Uh, this is bear, this is a crossfire. And uh, let's throw down all of our troops right here, and I'm gonna throw down two boxes of uh, of uh, critters, of max level critters, to take down that pesky little rocket launcher because it's actually it's not doing that much damage to my troops. It's just kind of annoying. Uh, I'm throwing down another box of critters. Uh, in this, in the next couple, um, in the next couple NPC bases that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do two more after this one. Uh, I'm not gonna use any gunboat energy just to deploy, um, like no matter what. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be the plan here. Uh, let's move on to a target rich. That's only a level 39 uh, base, but it looks kind of fun to do. So let's just go ahead and deploy all of our troops, and uh, yeah, we're we're just gonna be sitting back and just watching all of these troops. Uh, just burn through all these low-level defenses. These defenses are really low-level, and um, yeah, I, I just hope those uh, I just hope those boom mines don't uh, don't kill my scorchers. That's what I'm a little bit worried about. Uh, even if they do, we're just gonna be instant finishing them because I said I wouldn't be using any gunbow energy in this uh, in this uh, round or the next one. So uh, yeah, that that's definitely what we're gonna be going for. Uh, please don't kill my Scorchers, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, Scorchers are a lot more powerful than I uh, expected. So, yeah, that was a great victory, guys. That was an absolutely great victory. Uh, let's take down one more um, NPC base. Let's take down left field. This is level 45 uh, NPC base. And I'm not going to be using any gunboat energy, even though I could totally take out that that boom cannon and like all that stuff in, in like a couple but uh, whatever we're just gonna be throwing down our troops right here and uh, they're just gonna be rolling through this base right now and as you can see I'm not using any gunboat energy I just wanna I just wanna experiment with like the raw power of these tanks and these scorchers because that is a lot of power another really good combo that a uh, boot tramp did a video on that I've used before is uh, scorchers and zookas if the base does not have a lot of uh, mines or a poor mine placement, uh, Scorchers and Zookas is just an incredibly like raw and powerful um, combination. So as you can see, uh, we totally took down left field like no problem. We got some intel, uh, super good for our task force. So uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, we are cruising. We are we are cruising through Mambo right now. So uh, yeah, if anyone if anyone wants to join our task force, the uh, that's our hashtag, and it's anyone can join requirement. We have a 300 medal requirement, and uh, yeah, so please uh, so please uh, subscribe, please like, please comment, comment the kind of things that uh, you want to see in the next video. Give me some ideas, because uh, it's all about you guys. Uh,